I am Donna Cox, professor in the School of Art and Design. This is my 30th year at the University of Illinois. And for the last 15 years, I've been directing the Advanced Visualization Laboratory at the National Center for Supercomputing Applications here at the university. I'm going to tell you right up front, we are here to look for educators, collaborators to come and to participate and to use our facilities at NCSA to explore the possibilities of um, uh, collaborative proposals. I want to give my team credit right up front. Many of the visualizations you, you see are contributed to or designed by uh, the researchers with whom I work at NCSA. Uh, we have fantastic facilities over at the Supercomputing Center. This is our room 1005. It's called a technology experimentation um, uh, 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 area for uh, setting up. And we have had uh, testing of subjects there. We have a 4,000 resolution uh, stereo. 4,000 resolution in pixel stereo environment. Uh, we have tested for better comprehension of dense data. We have made IMAX films. I'm going to show you a couple of clips of. And we have inter uh, remote virtual collaborations that take place from that lab to other facilities like Adler Planetarium. Here is a clip. You do have the audio on, right? Yes, okay, great. And so one of these is in Urbana at NCSA, the other one at the Adler Planetarium. You see you flying along your path? This is a tool to explore data. I'm going to continue on toward the Galactic Center, and I'll try recording a path and see if you can see my path recording. And so we're here. sharing data. They have their own individual okay, I'm now recording. point of view and controls at two different locations. Do you see my path? I do. All right, great. And we have uh, collaborated with many museums and creation of content that I'm about ready to show you. We also have a creative lab. Rod uh, Lindgren mentioned that we're collaborating through Guy Garnett and iCubed with Rob. Uh, we reconfigure this lab. You're welcome to come over. We have faculty from all across the campus, and it has connects and different kinds of technologies that we set up, break down for experimenting, for production, and hopefully for educational testing. Uh, our approach to visualization has historically been through uh, creating visualizations that are all data driven but have an artistic component that is, uh, we focus on fidelity. I am a professor in the School of Art and Design that is, has been my first order area of research. But science education has been very, very important to me and we create visualizations that go into IMAX films and movies and that have reached in the last five years over 45 million people. So I just wanted that data point that I'm throwing out here that I have more questions about education than I have answers and I'm looking for collaborators to work with us on some of these projects. We also have student labs, learning labs, typical multimedia labs. Jeff Carpenter, raise your hand, is here, uh, one of the, the collaborate, uh, one of our team members, and collaborates with faculty across campus on various projects. Uh, we have a variety of software in which we employ to do different kinds of visualizations for various projects. And we are very involved in the Blue Waters project, uh, which is massive data. We have a Blue Waters grant. Uh, this is the building being built to hold one computer. And we work with Blue Waters scientists as well. And some of the visuals that you'll see today, we have put from Blue Waters into our pipeline and are visualizing for, for education and outreach projects. I'm going to touch upon three projects that we have done. One is Hubble 3D, an IMAX film. 
It is here. This is one scene. It's narrated by Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, one of the speakers. You can't hear Leonardo because one of the speakers is not being filtered through our audio setup. But let me tell you, if you come over to the center, I'll give you a demo, and you can hear Leonardo in really good audio. And that was just a teaser. Uh, we've never asked the question. It's never been published. Does a celebrity narrator, does that enhance learning? Uh, just a simple question that we should be asking because a lot of money goes into these. Uh, here's another production on a big museum show, traveled all over the world. It's in, been translated into seven languages. Liam Neeson narrates that. Again, he, Liam, is on another speaker channel, so you will have to come over to our center and uh, see Katrina visuals in stereo, donning glasses. And uh, this is a project that we're working on. We've received a National Science Foundation grant called Cadence to really focus on the centrality of advanced digitally enabled science. And uh, this is one of the visuals where we're taking you underneath the surface of the sun. We set up context situations. We're working with evaluators, external evaluators, testing different metaphors and scripts to describe these visuals in different contexts, and this is being done as we speak as part of this grant. The Cadence grant is funding over three years, three digital full-dome shows, nine high-definition television documentaries. There's a whole marketing and co-marketing campaign. We have educators involved. We could write follow-on grants because there was not enough money in this grant to really look at education studies as part of this. So I invite people to explore that opportunity with me. Uh, full Dome Show, we have a full dome right here in Champaign-Urbana, the planetarium. We could test individuals in that. We are planning and have done that in the past, but these digital domes are all over the world. They're portable. People are using them for education. They're putting them in the back of vans and taking them out to rural communities. And finally, I am part, I am the uh, lead at the National Center for the Culture and Society theme, but we have other themes and other people that I am sure are welcoming and would welcome the uh, topics that are here today and we can explore some opportunities. Thank you.